These carpentry students are confidently literate and numerate out on the job. As the result of an explicit program of integrating literacy and numeracy into every aspect of their learning. So we're going to look at uh, Pythagoras this morning and using that A squared and B squared and C squared or 345 as a tool to confirm that the building that we're setting out is um, nice and square. Within the given boundaries, can you remember what we're how precise we've got to be for the position of our building. A maximum of 15 mil. 15 mils. We've got 15 mils, plus or minus, that it can be... There isn't a trade that isn't based around numbers. You know, if you're a butcher, you're looking at a cow and thinking about how much mince you're going to get out of it. And, and if you're a hairdresser, you, you want to turn this woman's hair blonde, not green, so you've got to get the right quantity of whatever chemical it might be. And, um, and building's the same. Building is, you've got a hole that's X number of millimetres big and you've got to fit a piece of timber into it or you've got to divide up a balustrade or whatever it might be. So it's all, it's all numbers. 7.2 metres down that side and 4.3 metres down that side. I'm a real why sort of a learner myself and if I don't understand why, I won't learn it. I, I've got a really, really poor history of maths. You know, I did my O-levels in England when I was 16 and got an unclassified O-level in maths two years on the trot. And, um, and it was a foreign, just a foreign language to me. And it wasn't until I got on a building site and everything was about numbers and I could see how the numbers were working for me. What are we going to use to confirm that our corners are square, that our corners are 90 degrees? Pythagoras. A bit of Pythagoras. To give us what? <clears throat> our hypotenuse. Our hypotenuse. What's the hypotenuse? The longest side. The longest side. So this is I've got a big weapon in my armoury is, is, um, is empathy for students that come in and look blankly at numbers because that was me. Yeah. It's really easy to write down the figures that come up on a calculator without taking any notice of the numbers. I'll do a concrete volume question on the board and somebody will give me a, an answer that if they actually read it was cubic kilometres for a garden shed, you know, it was a, a totally unrealistic answer. But if I can get those kids to A, have an expectation of whereabouts an answer should be, but B, think in numbers and not figures. You know, so we're talking about 271 millimetres, not 271, nothing in particular. Would 11.15 metres sound reasonable? Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. So, so an expectation around point. what your answer should be is really but useful. Um, so that you can recognise when you've got something horribly wrong. And you've got a rectangle just like that. Which leads nicely into insisting on the students showing they're working, you know, just like we were always told at school, show you're working, show you're working. And, and you get into the habit with a calculator of not doing that. But if, if you actually do write your process down and you do get an unexpected answer, you can self-police and you can go back and see where you've, where you've ballsed up. Every Thursday morning we'll spend about an hour going through calculations that are associated with the topic that we've been covering at the time. So at the moment, lots of triangles because we're doing building set outs. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we've been pouring a concrete path down the back of our workshops. So we're looking at concrete volumes, um, areas and volumes, and um, linear, linear measurements for reinforcing quantities, that sort of thing. Spot on. Spot on, eh? I done six point three <coughs> squared plus. We've got a building calculations unit coming up, and I don't want the students to have the notion that that's the be all and end all of their calculations while they're at the Polytech here. Just that one unit standard. What I want to do is embed, if you like, just get them into the habit of of thinking in terms of numbers and using those numbers, so that when we do hit the building the building calculations unit with any luck we'll fly through it. So C is 9.567, squared is at 91.53. Yep. Okay, so I we're unsquared. I did 1.8 by 6.3. Oh, yep? Yeah, so I did the opposite hypotenuse. Yep, so you came across there? Yep. 